like this is some kind of giant voodoo egg beater to stir up that unsanitary mess. If I can unlock the cauldron's lid, I might be able to thrash their production and build up enough steam pressure to get launched up to Ruby's skull temple. Okay, sounds like we've got a plan. To get around that thing, try moving in the shadows made by the masks so that the guards won't see you.
vehicle seems to be outfitted with some sort of high-energy cannon. Use the left analog stick to move, and aim the right analog stick in the direction you want to shoot. Remember, you can always shoot in one direction while moving in another.
all the security. This must be the source of all the disgusting green soup. Coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth a moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if Jaws need to fly, Upon you. 
If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, you'll get set. <laughs> A little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. <laughs> Do 
certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the Panda King. He's tough with a capital T. You go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes from my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Travel plans to China have all been worked out! Okay, I'll stop. Soon.